Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Dawn of Man. Now this is a game that is set in the Stone Age and you have control over a small village, small clan of ancient humans and uh, you are tasked with keeping them alive, making sure that they make the right decisions and uh, well just generally overseeing their development. And so, we're going to be starting a new game, and uh, yeah, this, this game is on Steam right now, by the way, so you can check it out through the link in the description. Otherwise, we have free play here, as you can see. We have challenges, so if you, uh, if you want to go creative, you can do that, but obviously I haven't unlocked anything just yet. I have basically just completed the tutorial because I thought, hey, you know what, let's just do the tutorial because I want to make sure that I know exactly what I'm doing, even though <laughs> you know me. You know me. Anyway, grow and evolve your settlement from the Paleolithic to the Iron Age. About 12,000 years ago, the last glacial period had just ended. This made most of continental Europe a lot easier to inhabit. Human populations thrived and the Neolithic Revolution started. Alright, so we can choose our settlement name and uh, every single one of your, well, I, I guess you could call them citizens, has a name as well. And uh, I suppose there's going to be a, a couple of stories to be told if someone is a absolutely prolific hunter or an excellent crafter or just in general sticks around for a very long time. So what we're going to call it, we're going to call this, uh, yeah, yes, mm, very standard for me, isn't it? Okay, so location, forest river, river fork, lake valley, mountain lake, merging streams. Merging streams actually sounds pretty fun, but I think we'll just go with the forest river and the game mode is normal. So what does that mean? Oh my. Okay, yeah, so normal, unlimited save games, game can be paused, other tribes match your technology, normal amount of raiders, and reduced animal aggression. Hardcore, larger amount of raiders, other tribes progress at their own rate. Regular animal aggression. <laughs> well, you know me. Considering this is a first time that I'm actually starting a real game and not being, you know, handheld through the uh, through the tutorial, I'm going to just go normal for the moment. All right, so welcome to Dawn of Man. This is our primary game space here. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a river here. We've got some trees and, well, not much else. We are going to need to set up some work areas. So firstly, these work areas will tell your villagers where they need to go and what they need to do. So for example, as you can see here, highlighted by those small arrows, you can actually see what things, and you know that means resources, you can pick up in this area. So I'm going to try and... Oh, this is not very good. Mm, I was hopeful that we might be able to pick up sticks a little bit closer to us. Okay, what about here? I think that will be okay. I guess we'll do that. That's pretty far away from our settlement, though. That's not something I wanted to do, but... Well, we kind of have to. We kind of have to. So let's see. Flint is over here. So let's do that. There are all kinds of different resources that we can do. Hunting... Uh, yeah, hunting is not something that we're actually going to be doing just yet. So I'm actually just going to go for fish instead. As you can see, this these areas here can be utilized for their fish. And then, of course, we have wild plants here as well. Can I find any wild plants? Yeah, we do have a couple of wild plants around this area. Uh, nothing too much there. Okay, so about here, I suppose, would be good. And then our last one is to obtain stone. So let's do that about here. All right. So now our villagers are going to go off and do that. But what we need to do first is we also need to, well, we, ha we can build basic shelters and things like that. We can build storage, a storage tent, wood pile, rock pile, and so on and so forth. And then we have production here. Now production is very important. We are going to need a crafter. So I'm going to build one basically right about there. And we do have a number of other things that you can look at. You can actually domesticate animals as far as I'm aware. You can build defenses. You can go to technology and everything. And unfortunately, I don't I don't have any knowledge right now. As you can see, this is the, the current skill tree that you're going to be able to get. Food drying is very important early game as well. So hopefully, I'm going to speed everything up. My, uh, my little guy here, Banak who is our adult man. He is going to be laying down some of the some of the uh, sticks and everything for us. 
and uh, I actually just told him to walk over there, didn't I? Ah, oh, I am an idiot. Oh, well, you just go and do whatever you need to do, Banak. Thank you very much. All right, so he's going to go off and do that. Unfortunately, the sticks are so far away. I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest. This is an ancient bison. Probably don't want to be fighting that just yet. You can actually pause this at any time as well. So if you want to take your time, you can do that. Anyway, primal vision. Primal vision is a thing, as you can see. It can basically show you everything you need to know about the game world. So, for example, you've got some trees here. You've got sticks all the way over here. You have rare resources and, and stone and all kinds of things. And then you may notice animals. Animals are a target for hunting. And the... Well, basically it ranks in the way that green is easy to hunt. And then yellow is slightly harder, and then obviously orange very hard, and red, well, you probably don't want to deal with that, thanks very much. Anyway, yeah, that's that's seemingly going to happen. Anyway, I'm just going to let my people do their own thing until the crafter gets his... Uh, uh, yeah, we need to do this as well, don't we? So let's just toggle this on. So you can actually toggle automatic uh, production, so that basically just continually pr produces these things. And these are these are always well, not they're not always going to be needed, but they are mostly going to be needed in the early game because you only have access to wood, and to well this uh, flint thing, and you're going to be getting much more as time goes on, like bone spears, flint spears, and sickles and slings, bows and so on and so forth. So this is kind of kind of reminds me of The Sims in a way, but it also reminds me of Banished. It reminds me of actually some really really good titles and the game is very polished already I'm actually very much enjoying it and I would like if at all possible to be able to maybe hunt something but uh, we got to be a bit careful here because I do not want to hunt anything to whoa okay yeah 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 we <laughs> oh yeah we're not going to be attacking that cave lion over there that is for certain that is going to absolutely murder us in every single possible respect. There's a pear tree. Oh, that's nice. Chestnuts. All right. That's pretty good, too. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to try and look for an animal that is green. It doesn't seem like I can find one right now. Uh, there are a couple over here, but it's going to take a long time for some, some of our people to get over there. So, I guess I'm just going to mark them for hunting. There we go. All right, let's do it. Oh, no. They're going over there. That is really bad. That is... Okay, you know what? <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, you know what? We're, we're going we're gonna to cancel that task. Where's the other one, though? Where did the other one go? Uh, okay, wait. Can I, can I maybe see it? Oh, is it being attacked by that cave lion? I think it might be... I, might, I think it might be attacked, actually. Which is bad. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it is. Yeah, I think it was killed, actually. So we probably just want to go and kill the boar instead then. Let's see if uh, someone is actually going to go off and do that. I think that would be quite nice. Maybe we can finally get this craft up and running as well. You can actually set it to high priority if you want it done as soon as possible. But I, I don't think that's really necessary. You can also uh, show related resource limits and so on and so forth. You can cook some bread. No storage slots left. Are you serious? Okay, well, we're going to have to do something about that. So let's get a storage tent. And you can rotate it any way you like. And we probably want to get a wood pile round about, uh, round about here, I guess. And we probably want to get another rock pile as well. Just in case. You never know. You never know. You might need it. And maybe we can... Yeah, it seems like there's not, not many fish, unfortunately. Yeah, there's not many fish here. That is unfortunate. Oh, there's a lot here. Okay, let's go and fish over there as well. Thank you very much. Ah, okay, so we have some boar knowledge apparently. So did we actually uh did we actually go over here and kill that? I think I think we might have, because the game will give you knowledge when you perform certain actions. I have to be very careful about these lions over here. They are going to be extremely, extremely dangerous. So it's definitely something to watch out for. I should probably be careful to make sure that I always go into 
this little vision mode here so that I, I know exactly what's going on and what's nearby to us as well because you never know maybe a mountain lion's going to appear from nowhere and then it's going to be like hey there you're my next meal yeah that would not be very good okay so we need some dry skin yeah that is indeed the issue so we need dry skin now dry skin is going to be from hunting so I guess what I'm going to need to do hello there who's that Korgol is that one of ours <laughs> Is that, he's using a wooden spear, so I assume that is one of ours. Okay, well, uh, hmm. I guess we will try and tell him to hunt that Ibex. Hmm, I, I'm a bit worried about this, to be honest. Let's see if, uh, I, th I think we might be okay, we might be okay. Oh, yes, there they come. There they come, there, there's our guys, there's our guys, they're, 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 they're going, they're going. Okay, come on now, sneaky. Yeah, there we go. Do you see that? They went sneak mode, and now they have that available. Okay, we have to be a bit careful here. What are these? Oh, these are th these are lions. Okay, this is bad. Let's be very careful. Okay, so they're actually butchering it right now. That's good. Okay, can you just get that? Oh, they're they're, they're just drinking. Okay, just ignore them, guys. Just ignore them. Don't get murdered by the mountain lions, please. Yes, they actually made it back. Can you can you imagine that? That's fantastic. Okay, so that means what we need to do now is we need to get a skins dryer. Yes, a skins dryer. That is going to make everything so much easier because that means we will actually be able to dry the skins that we have acquired from hunting and then we will be able to make these uh, these other buildings like the crafting hut and you know things like that. So I'm just going to speed things up. Thankfully, it does have... You know, speed up mechanics, I, I very much appreciate that because games like this, you know, if you don't have a speed up, then it's just going to take way too long. So it's nice to have that if you need it. Or if you just want to chill out, you don't have to use it, you know, that's uh, that's the great thing. Anyway, these are going to be used all the time. I might actually want to get some more, to be honest. Maybe it would make sense to get another one, perhaps. I mean, how many... Uh, oh, we don't even have that much wood. I mean, that mu that many sticks, that is. We don't have that many sticks, so it might make sense for us to be a bit careful about it. And we do have some knowledge here as well, by the way. So let's get food drying. Food drying is pretty good, because that means that you can... Uh, there are seasons in this game, by the way. That means you can dry various things, uh, various foodstuffs, and you can, you know, have a place to store it as well so it's pretty good let's put that about there and uh, we probably want to start getting some tents up and running as well because the more and more people that you have as you can see we have a capacity of no space for more people yeah exactly so we need to get some tents as well so let's see if I can do that let's get so uh, let's get one there and we'll get another one around there there we go all right, so as you can see, you can earn knowledge points in the game by achieving various goals, reaching larger populations, building different types of structures, hunting different animals, acquiring the various resources, killing raiders, unlocking milestones, and surviving more years. So hopefully we will do a decent enough job. And as you can see here, you can now produce cured meat and dry fish, fish which are the only long-lasting foods available in the Paleolithic. And uh, yeah, hopefully we will be okay with that. No storage slots left. Yeah, I understand. So, well, hopefully now we will have a, a couple of slots. I think that's going to be pretty nice. Okay, so he's now building that. That's fantastic. That is, well, actually, she is now building that. My apologies. Anyway, <laughs> I can't tell. I can't tell because I'm I'm not zoomed in enough. Anyway, point is, we will have that up and running very soon. That is a crafter. That will allow us to craft a, a numerous amount of other things. And uh, we can, of course, manage all kinds of things you know, through this menu as well. Game speed and everything. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with this. I absolutely love games like this. Let me just tell you, I, I've been playing them all the way back since, like, you know, SimCity and stuff like that. I know SimCity is completely different from this. This is a, on a much more personal level than SimCity, but, uh, you know, these kinds of management games, I, I love them, like no one's business. No storage slots left? Are you serious? What do I actually need to in improve this, actually? Resources stored inside a structure. Uh, okay. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, guess I should get another storage hut then, shouldn't I? So let's get another one of those. Storage tent. 
Oh, I thought I, I thought I already had one actually, but they're not uh, they're not building it. As you can see, it's right there. We need dry skin, and we need to. Oh, okay. So we obviously need to hunt some more. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pause, and then we're going to use pri. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we're actually going to mark these. Megaloceros. Ooh, okay. That might be a bit uh, a bit tricky for us, but we're going to try and hunt three of these. And we'll see what we can do, because I feel like we definitely need some additional skins. And we're getting some raw fish as well, which is pretty nice. We're finally getting some fish, because these fish are taking a long time to replenish as well, which is kind of harsh for us. Okay, oh, that, they're, on the, they're on this side, guys. Come on now, you can get them. You can get them. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. They are uh, they're very, very quick. Oh, there we go. We actually did get a couple of them. That's fantastic. Okay, that's really good. That's tin ore. We don't have bronze smelting just yet, so we won't be able to do that. Stone, we also do not have composite tools. We don't have any mining picks or anything like that, so obviously that's going to be a bit bad. And we do have Dre here, who is doing a little bit of fishing, so that's nice. And I think... Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, the trader has arrived. Aha, hello there. All right, so we can actually trade some things here. So the trader has some dry skins. We might actually want to trade some of these. So I'm actually going to try and get two dry skins so that we can actually get one of our storage tents up and running. And I'm going to sell... Wow, these have a value of five? Hmm. Well, I guess we could... We could trade a wooden spear and a couple of pieces of flint. Like that? Guess that's what we could do, yeah? Sound, sounds about right to me, alright. And uh, we should probably... That is a food dryer right there, that's, that's working quite nicely. Now we should probably set this to high priority, please. So they can actually start getting on that as soon as possible. And uh, let's get someone onto this little fishing area here, and I think we might be able to take care of an Orok. We might. I don't think that's going to happen somehow, but uh, let's try it out. Why not? Let's try it out. Okay, so I'm going to follow our progress here with hunting this guy. I think it's going to be kind of difficult. Mm, one? No, come on now. Uh, you know what? You know what? I've chickened out. I have chickened out. We're not going to be hunting that guy. I feel like he's going to be really powerful. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay, so we, I know we have no storage slots left, but thankfully we now have our storage tent up and running because of those dry skins that we purchased from the trader. And hopefully we will be able to get a couple more as we continue hunting. So let's have a look at the primal vision here. Do we have anything else that we can hunt? We might be able to hunt the Megaloceros over here. Mm, and I think... I think that is actually it in our area. That's a that's a bit worrying. That is a bit worrying. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do something about that. Okay, so clothing. We need some clothing. Clothing offers you uh, offers your people protection from cold, increases welfare, and reduces damage sustained in combat. Skins and wool outfits protect people up to freezing temperatures. It is critical that you have one of these per inhabitant. When it is warm, your people will prefer to wear leather or linen outfits. These increase welfare levels and offer slight protection in combat. A typical way to ensure you have enough clothing is to set outfits to continuous production in the crafter or outfitter structures. All right, so obviously the crafter is right here, and uh, we should probably get these things continuously crafted. Skins outfit, leather outfit, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, we, we have that on continuous production, so that's great. And... Yeah, that's just a tent, and that's also... Oh, that's also a craft. Oh, I already had a craft. Oh. Oh, well. I have. I now have two. Oh, the Megaloceros actually escaped. So that's kind of a shame. Oh, well. Never mind. Ooh, we have a number of other things coming over here, which I think we might be able to hunt a little bit of. There we go. Okay, I don't, I don't know where our guys are. Actually. Oh, no, never mind. They're, they're going way too far away for us. New, ah, oh, yes, new human has joined the settlement. Fantastic. Okay, so that is really good. I'm a bit worried about this. We do have quite a few skins outfits right here, so I think that's pretty good. We only have one raw skin, unfortunately, so that's not very good. That is a mammoth. Yeah. 
that is going to be way too powerful for us right now. What about this though? There we go. Uh, they move. They move very, very fast, and they're very far away from our current camp. I feel like I maybe chose wrong in uh, in the area that I'm currently at. And we have Emma over here, who is a girl. Why are you over there? What are you doing? <laughs> that is not good. That is not good for her to be over there by herself. I actually wonder where she's going. Shall we? Shall we follow her? Shall we follow her and see where she's going? Oh, she's. She's picking up some sticks. Is she picking up some sticks? Or what what is she actually picking up there because yeah, I think I think I think they're picking up sticks. Okay, this is kind of crazy. I'm not entirely sure why they're going over there. I maybe they have to because there are no others nearby. So I guess I will place another work area over here. And where am There are some sticks here. Look at that. There are some sticks. So I'm not entirely sure why they're going all the way over there. Maybe I've uh, I don't know. Maybe I've just done it incorrectly, but well, whatever the case, there's a work here. Ah, yes. Ah, mm. that's also a thing that we need to do. We need to increase the amount of people that can actually work in these areas. I'm a bit of an idiot in that regard. So let's actually make it so that a lot of people can uh, start gathering sticks from here as well. So you can you can place multiple work areas and things like that. So let's actually get two people on the fish and let's get a couple of people on here as well. There we go. All right. So, yeah, that was a, a a bit of a thing that I neglected to do. Oh, dear. It is now winter. I am a bit worried about this. I Do I have any cured meat? I have four. I have four cured meat. They should be okay if, if they... Oh, dear. If they... I don't know. If they ration it, I suppose. I hope that they are going to be okay. I really do. Oh my, this is bad. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put a... Uh, hmm, I'm going to put a hunting area. Oh, this is... This is risky. This is risky. I don't know where to put a hunting area, actually. I might want to put one... Around here. Look, there's there's a bunch of... A bunch of animals over there, which we might want to take out. So, I guess we'll just put a hunting area right here. And we'll have three people work it if at all possible i think that would be nice okay let's see if that works bear in mind i have just completed the tutorial so i am still very new at the game and if you would like to do a little bit better than me i'm sure you will there is a link in the description to the steam store page i hope you check it out it's mighty fun and uh well that will be it for this episode i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time